Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by OneFootball, the app that lets you keep up to date with all the stats, rumours and scores all in a one place. So download the app, it's free, go and do it by clicking the link in the description. Uh, Everton travel to Crystal Palace tomorrow and Jordan Pickford thinks we need to bring our A-game. Pickford who's been in excellent form of late, six clean sheets in his last eight games. Uh, he wants another three clean sheets before the end of the season. He said he's had 12 and he wants to finish with 15 to, uh, to finish the season strongly. Listen, we would love another three clean sheets, wouldn't we? That would give us an excellent opportunity of getting that seventh place and possibly a place in the Europa League le next season. Uh, it's going to be very, very tough going to Crystal Palace tomorrow. Roy Hodgson has been waxing lyrical today about Christian Benteke and Wilf Zahar's partnership up front. But all that being said, Crystal Palace have only won four home games this season. So Everton have got an opportunity here to go and get the three points. It's going to be difficult. Uh, if we're going to get that seventh place, we have to win tomorrow. It's as simple as that. Wolves travel to Watford, so that'll be a pivotal game uh, in you know with those two as well being above us. So you know Everton have got to really go out and perform tomorrow, and it's a big ask. But you know we're no Richarlis, and it doesn't look like we're going to have to go and work hard but we can win you know we've been playing really well of late so let's hope we can get the victory what i want to know from you guys is who would you who plays instead of the charles is it walcott or is it adam ola luckman it's a tough one if they obviously come off the bench last week and scored luckman people are asking to for them to get more game time but it's away from home interesting one isn't it uh, everton today have been linked with leels bubakari sumaria i've probably said that totally wrong uh, young leel midfield player um it's he's seen apparently as a replacement for Ghana. Everton are in competition with Manchester City. Um, so I suppose he would get more games with Everton obviously than going to Manchester City, but he's highly rated. Uh, he's done really well this season. So and apparently he's on Marcel Brands' wish list. Who knows? Who knows what that contains? Another player who I spoke about yesterday, he was um, apparently attracting the interest of Everton is Chelsea striker Tammy Abraham. He scored 25 goals in 37 games this season for Aston Villa on loan. Uh, spent a season on loan at Swansea last season at 25 at Bristol City the year before, so he knows where the net is. But um, former Leeds and Coventry striker Noel Whelan has told him to steer clear of Everton. He said, Ever no disrespect to Everton, Everton are a great club, but Tammy Abraham can do better than that. Uh, and go to a big club, uh, you know, stay at a big club like Chelsea or go to a team challenging in the Champions League. I'm not going to get into the, the big club thing. Uh, Noel doesn't know, you know, how many titles Everton have won compared to Chelsea and all that fair play. But Chelsea recently, in all fairness, are a bigger club than Everton on recent um, history, of course they are. But Sammy Abraham, you know, he's, in, he's an interesting proposition. He's a young 21-year-old striker. He's mobile. He, he done all right at Swansea last season in a team that ultimately got relegated. I don't know. The, the Chelsea transfer ban, the Premier pre, Premier League premium on top of players, means it's all a little bit like that, isn't it? When you, you're getting linked with you know players who are at Premier League clubs. And also we're trying to get Kurt Zuma off the army, so <laughs> I suppose it's one of them. Um, yesterday, the news broke, or rather last night, that Everton are apparently about to offer Leighton Baines a one-year contract extension, which is great news in my opinion. Um, and today, there's a lot of rumours around the media that Phil Jagielka will also be offered another one-year deal. I mean, what are your thoughts on both of those players being offered a one-year deal? Like I say, the Baines want... They both make sense in all fairness. Um, I know there'll be people who say, you know, maybe it's time to cut your losses with them and, and move them up. But I look at Jags and just think... He's got a lot of experience. We've got young defenders coming through. He's obviously very good around the place. Baines, for me, can still play in the first team, albeit he's not at Luca Dean's level, but he's still a fantastic footballer. So let me know what you think about the one-year contract extensions for Jagielka, potentially, and Leighton Baines. Is that what you would have done, or would you have just let them both go out the door on a free in the summer? That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. It takes a second and if you want more videos, get over and become a part of our Patreon network. See you later.